السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين May praise be to Allah the creator of the world and peace and blessings be upon his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the head of all messengers upon his family and all his companions dear audience today I have been given the honor to speak some words about introduction of Islam before you May Allah give us tawfiq to follow the teachings of Islam in all spheres of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Inna ad-deen inda Allah al-Islam. Verily the religion before Allah is Islam. Surah Al-Imran chapter number 3 verse number 19. At another place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِ غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينَا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ if anyone desires a religion other than Islam, never will it be accepted of him. And in the hereafter, he will be in the ranks of those who have lost. Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 85. Islam is an Arabic word that means submission and surrendering to the will of the Almighty Allah. Islam is the perfect form of the true religion and the complete way of life. The basic tenets of Islam include oneness of Allah, believe in prophets and messengers, believe in angels, believe in heavenly books, believe in destiny, believe in resurrection, and believe in the day of judgment, paradise and hell, etc. Islam is a heavenly religion. The prophet of Islam is Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Those who follow Islam are called Muslims. Muslims believe in all prophets and messengers from Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. According to some tradition, there were more than 100,000 prophets throughout the world. These messengers and prophets were sent in all parts of the world and in all nations, whether we know their names or not. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last of this golden chain. He is the seal of the prophets upon him Allah Almighty completed his religion and finished the chain of sending prophets. Now the ultimate and final religion of Allah is Islam. It is the only religion that can guide the mankind to the way of Allah and grant them deliverance from hellfire. Dear brothers, Islam is based on five major principles. Number one, to testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's apostle. Number two, to perform hajj once, to perform five times salah daily. Number three, to keep fast in the month of Ramadan. Number four, to pay early zakat to the poor. Number five, to perform hajj once in lifetime. Respected audience, the Holy Quran is the divine book that was revealed to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by Allah. The Quran is the base of all Islamic beliefs and teachings. The Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was born in Mecca. Islam originated in Mecca. Later the Prophet migrated to Medina. Mecca, Medina and Al-Quds are the holy sites in Islam. Kaaba in Mecca is the center to which Muslims from around the globe face in their daily prayers. Muslims perform a special Jummah prayer on Friday and celebrate two festivals in a year, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Dear audience, today Islam is the second largest religion of the world. There are about 55 countries all across of the world where Muslims are in majority. Most of these Muslim countries are in the continents of Asia and Africa, while the other European, American and Australian continents have a considerable population of Muslims. Muslims constitute one-fifth of the seven billion human population around the world. Islam teaches universal brotherhood. It is the religion of equality and justice. It asserts that all human beings are equal with no difference of color, caste and creed. Islam says that the best among people is one who is more pious. The only criteria of honor Islam is piety and virtue. Islam regards all human beings as family of Allah. It encourages justice, transparency and good morals. Islam prohibits injustice, operations, social discrimination and bad morals. Here I will conclude my talk with sincere prayers to Allah that he give us the fiqh to follow true Islam in every walk of life. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.